Pokemon Coral version is a fan-made modification of Pokemon Crystal version. It was created solely for the purpose of entertainment and is not to be sold to profit. If you paid money for this, you were scammed. Get your money back. Please support the official release. Press A to continue. Hello everyone, welcome to Pokemon Coral Version. This came out on, um, this demo version came out on Christmas Day, 2022. I'm gonna be playing it, um, you know, a little bit around then. Uh, finally got around to, you know, getting everything set up for it. Let's get right into it. This is the 2022 demo version, um, version 1.0. I don't know exactly how feature complete this is, um, I know that this ROM hack was originally released in 2017, and, uh, this is the first, I think, major update in a couple of years, so let's check out how feature complete it is. Alright, as I'm recording this, we are at 9 o'clock, and 43 minutes. So let's just, yep, 9.43. Pokemon Coral Version Demo 3. This demo goes to the 4th gym and beyond. Most of the game has been redone since the last release and I feel it is much better. This demo will probably be the last before the full release, but that's still quite a ways away. Sorry for the wait and thank you for your patience. If anyone's complaining about how long a ROM hack takes to come out, they can, they can go die. Remember that some moves and mechanics may be different than in other Pokemon games. You should pay attention to what NPCs say and avoid your emulator's speed up key. Thanks for playing Pokemon Coral version, have fun. Who's this guy? Hello. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Spruce, but most people just call me the Pokemon Professor. Munchlax, okay, Gen 4. Pokemon are magnificent creatures. Some Pokemon like battling, and others prefer to be companions, like my friend Munchlax here. Cute. And that's a custom cry. But we must be cautious about how we treat Pokemon. That's where my research comes in. I study Pokemon conservation and how it relates to the expansion of civilization. But that's just me. You have your own Pokemon story to discover. So tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Um... Both of these designs look alright. I usually pick, um, whichever one my, uh, protagonist is by which design I like more. For this one, let's, let's go as a boy. What's your favorite color? Uh, orange is literally not an option. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'll be picking... Oh god, I don't know if I want brown or teal. Um, let's do brown. Yeah, that's orange-ish. There you go. Excellent. Now, what did you say your name was? Um, I'm trying to think of something off of Coral. Let's do, let's do Cory. And you can add symbols to your name, that's cool. Ah, Cory, I'll try to remember that. This boy here, you know him from school. What did you say his name was? Hmm, it's the opposite of Coral, thing of conservation. Let's call him, uh, let's call him Pollute. Pollucin. Perfect. That's right, Pollucin. <laughs> Pollucin. I hope you're ready, Cory. You have many challenges ahead, but I know if you put your trust in your Pokemon, nothing is insurmountable. I look forward to properly meeting you. Now go out and begin your Pokemon adventure. And this is obviously based off of Crystal. Uh, we have the options to change our clothes, and that is the same menu. Cool. Looking good. Bed, it's a radio, PC, it has a cool desktop background you picked out yourself. Sick. This is an SNES? It's an SNES. Turn it on? Yes. 
Pink Puff is eating everything in its path. Cute. Yeah, this soundtrack is really impressing me so far. Full collection of Pokemon picture books. Um, and it's the town map. Here we see. We're, we started Sunset Bay. Okay, and we can kind of move around. So we have Sunset Cape, the lighthouse, Route 1, Daybreak Village, Daybreak Glotto, Grotto, Star Glow. Sorry, I'm just kind of skipping through real quick. Looks like we've got a mountain, a manor, Dodrio Pass. Alrighty. Let's give this a shot. Cory, you're still here? Get down to the docks! Hurry, you're late! Captain Strand is supposed to give you your Pokemon today. Oh, jeez. There's a movie on TV. A crazy old man and a kid in a vest are speeding through an empty parking lot. I better get rolling, too. I think that's Back to the Future, right? Hope I'm not missing a reference. What are you waiting for? Go get your Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna check the kitchen first. Let's see what's in the fridge. Nothing good as usual. There's a single plate in the sink. Looks like mom already ate. What's cooking? Hmm. Looks yummy. Alright. Alright. I'll step out in just a moment. I know I said it, but I'll just say it again. Um, this game's soundtrack is really impressing me. All of the custom music. And it's at a silky 60 FPS. Like, you can just- you can see it. Corey's house. Alright. Probably should have made my name uppercase, but that's alright. Nice running shoes! You can run if you hold a B button, right? Yes. And it actually has a different animation and everything. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, would be a sign on our rival's house, so I guess let's just check out these other houses. So, you're starting your Pokemon journey, eh? Come back here when you become the Onwa Pokemon League Champion. I'll make sure to give you something special. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, here's an Obachan sprite, alright. She looks, yeah, I love the paint. I've known my Gengar Buttercup for many years. She still likes to play pranks. Buttercup, tied together my shoelaces. <gasps> and I slipped, oh my god. That was a really awesome animation, what the heck? Okay. Um... I don't want to explore every house before even getting the Pokemon, but, you know, check a few. I prefer water Pokemon, but you'll be more successful with a balanced team. Do you like grass Pokemon? I love them, but I just wish they didn't have so many weaknesses. Me too. I'm- I'm- you always find me saying that. We already talked to her. There's a PC in our- uh, PC- Pokemon Center in our town. Looks like there's a little conversation at that table there. Alright. I just moved here from the Hoenn region. It's a lot calmer around here than back home. The Onwa region doesn't seem to have legendary Pokemon like most other regions do. Interesting. Getting some lore. <laughs> Sunset Bay. The sleepy town by the sea. Cory! Captain Strand wanted to see you. He lives down by the pier. Okay. Sunset Bay doesn't have a Pokemon like most towns. But you can buy most of what you need at the cafe. And this would be the cafe. Do you mind? I'm on a date. <laughs> My bad. I wish I could talk to the other guy through the window. Hey, how's the date going? Alright. <clears throat> Oof. Why do I always overeat? Same. My favorite is berry juice. Though, I hear fresh water is better for you. <laughs> hey, Cory. What can I get you today? And yes, there's the berry juice. Um, it's like an, yeah, it's like an orange berry. It does 20 HP and a Pokemon can hold it. Freshwater orange berry. Um, I'll buy an orange berry already. Um, that might be good to equip for like the first battle if we can. I don't think we'll need a berry juice. Um, yeah, we've already looked around at every house. Um, so I guess our rival is from a different town. This music is so so ragtime. Not is it ragtime? I don't know. It's so good. They say you can sometimes find things that people drop on the beach. I don't know though. I don't see anything like that around here. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I'm, I'm not just gonna keep on checking. Actually, I probably will. That's cool. There's a water effect. There's like a yeah, like the water at your feet when you walk. That's really cool. Okay, no need to check all the. It's a sailboat. It seems some use, but it's still in good shape. Some rocks. We get a peek in the corner. 
Um, yeah, this is based on top of Polished Crystal, um, I think is the name, which is uh, 60 FPS, Physical Special Split, Fairy Type. Um, and this one also has a custom dex, uh, obviously can't find that now. You can call mom early. What are you waiting for? Go get your Pokemon! Okay, so fully intended behavior. God, this is for a demo, this is so polished. I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, f 10 minutes in, but I'm a little blown away. Okay, oh, you're late. My brother Abner took the Pokemon to the lighthouse. We weren't going to stand outside on the pier all night and freeze. We needed to get back to tending the lighthouse. To get there, just leave town and head south. Isn't that not... Okay, I guess leave town first and then head south. I was about to say, that is water. Alright. Yeah, this is the only way we can go. Here's Sunset Cape. Sunset Cape. North, Route 1, South, Lighthouse. I'm assuming we're gonna get stopped at the door by this. Clerk? You can't leave through those doors without a Pokemon. Come back when you have one. Oh, well, oh, I see. There you go. You don't have a Pokemon. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go out there without a Pokemon. I could lose my job. Dude, screw that guy's job. He is making my life difficult. Oh, it's a fruit-bearing tree. Hey, it's an orange berry. Well, my bad for even grabbing it. Put it in the berry pocket. Um... I'm assuming this, yeah, same uh, general menu as uh, Crystal, but as you can see, there's the item, um, like a picture of it in the left side. That's pretty cool. Um, what amazing pixel art. I'm like, I'm just, oh my god. I love the Gen 2 Pokemon games. I think, like, they're probably some of my favorites as just, like, of their own gen, you know what I mean? Even if they're somewhat annuated now. Cory found a Pokeball, putting it in the ball pocket. Um, like, I love our gold soul silver. They're holding hands. Cute. Little lovers retreat. Alright. Cory! So nice of you to finally join us. Now we're just missing a pollution. Pollution. And knowing him, we could be here for hours late waiting, so let's just get started. Today marks the first day in your journey as Pokemon trainers. This is a very important day for all of you, and. Crashing in. Pollution! Late as usual. What's your excuse this time? Dude, this guy's a rogue. This guy's a renegade. Pollution. <laughs> right. Didn't think so. You're just lucky Cory was also running late, or you might have missed your chance to get a Pokemon. <laughs> as I was saying, we don't live close to Professor Spruce's Pokemon research lab. Because of this, my brother and I are filling in for him. I have in this bag six rare Pokemon. They were set from the professor's lab especially for all of you. You only get one, so choose wisely. But no matter what you choose, you must train it well. One of you might even become the next Pokemon League champion. Oh, 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 oh. Ahem. <clears throat> Cory, why don't you choose first? Go ahead and pick a Pokemon. Think it over carefully. Your partner is important. And we have the option of every Gen 2 starter. I mean, Gen 1 and 2 uh, starter. God, this is actually, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty important choice. Um, I would normally go a fire starter, like, um, you know, honestly, Charmander and Cyndaquil are both good choices. But, I think I'm gonna go Bulbasaur this time. I think it's, I think it's a Bulbasaur kind of day. There we go. So you like Bulbasaur, the grass Pokemon. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. And we have received a Bulbasaur. Do you have a nickname to the Bulbasaur you received? Bulbasaur and Blastoise are some of my favorite starters. Like, I didn't even grow up with them either. I've just grown to really appreciate them. Um, for a Bulbasaur, for a coral Bulbasaur, kind of a pink flower, I think there really is no choice um, but Sakura. And I will make this uh, fully capital just because... Um, I feel like in these earlier games, it's, it just kind of looks better. Now you pick Pollution. Cory picked Bulbasaur, so I'll pick Cyndaquil. It looks much stronger. Next up, Alex. Ooh, I want Squirtle. It's so cute. And finally, Marcus. Yes! No one took Chikorita! I'll take it! Congrats. You are all now Pokemon trainers. Go out and be the best trainers you can be. 
Pelusin. Your Pokemon looks weak, Cory. I bet mine could wipe the floor with yours. Why don't we have a little battle to find out? That's a great idea, Pelusin. Alex and Marcus could battle too. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Alright, our first battle. Cool. Rival Pelusin wants to battle. Sending out a Cyndaquil. Cute. Alright, I'm liking the menus a lot. Ghost Takara. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. Um, we're getting weird. I... For, yeah, we're just gonna growl back. Um, you know, kinda... Kind of a bare bones moment. Yeah, so Cyndaquil probably just straight up outspeeds, but um, I guess I don't actually remember the stats off the top of my head, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah. I think having two growls up like that um, could always be safe and go for a third growl, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Um, okay. Sakura recovered using an Orin Berry, so um, Cyndaquil might also have one. That actually makes me want to growl one more time. Yeah, so it's a range of about 3 to 4 damage. Uh, we can definitely take that. Um, yeah, should keep on going. Um, I think it's really interesting that... Well, actually, I think Bulbasaur Sprite in Gen 2 is um, the same. I think these are the same Sprite, I don't remember. It's been a long time um, since I played Gold I got on my 3DS um, Virtual Console. And I played through that. Alrighty. Yep, looks like we're pretty handily gonna win. Cyndaquil doesn't have an Orin Berry, but we do, so we just have that enhanced advantage. Alright. Post Cyndaquil fainted. We gained 69 experience points. Let's go. And grew to level 6. Alright. Um, looks like we got a bit of help from that more than the rest. I think that's just normal. Pollution was defeated. What? How could I lose? Whatever. I'm gonna go train my Pokemon. This won't happen again! Oh, don't worry about Pelusin, Cory. Some people are over competitive. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to give you kids each one of these. Ooh, but our rival didn't. That's a goof. Got the Pokedex. Pelusin ran off before I could give him his. Cory, do you think you could take it with you? Pelusin lives in Glint City to the north. You're going that way anyway, aren't you? And we have another Pokedex on our hands, in the key pocket. Anyway, you should be on your way. I'm sure you'll do great things. Good luck! Did you visit your mom yet? No? Then go talk to her. And I think we will. Pokemon Magazines, Pokemon Pal, Pokemon Handbook, Pokemon Graph... <laughs> Decked out. Right. Nothing on the screen. Let's see how Alex and Marcus did. Yippee! We won! That was too many. I can't believe I lost. My voices are kind of inconsistent. Um, I'm, you know, I'm still playing the first time. I'm working out all their personalities, kind of leaving <laughs> the room. All right. Um, yep, and we have a full menu. Here's Sakura. There we go. Alrighty. Knows tackle and growl. Has a hardy nature. Um, I don't. I think this has abilities. Yeah, Overgrow, and it even will tell you what it does. Boost, Grass moves, and a Pinch. Um, so I think that's kind of like Blaze um, on Fire types, if I'm remembering. Alright, let's go talk to our mom, and then head up north to Route 1. Oh, hey! You're back! You got your Pokémon? Let me see it! Oh, so you picked that one. Well, that's okay. Anyway. Since you're going to challenge the Ono Pokemon League, I thought you could use this. And we got a trainer card. I was wrong, it wasn't a full menu. There we go. It's a trainer card! It'll help you progress as, uh, help you track your progress as a trainer. It also doubles as an ATM card. Any money you earn will automatically be put into your account. Just visit the ATM at any Pokemon Center to deposit or withdraw money. How convenient! So, I guess you're heading off then. My little baby's growing up. Make sure you have everything you need before you leave town. You can stop by the cafe if you want to get some items for your Pokemon. Good luck out there, sweetie. Great. Um, yeah, let's check it out. Hey, Cory. What can I get you today? Um, we didn't get any money from beating the rival. Um, 
I feel like, yeah, 300, uh, I mean, 3,000 Poké Dolls is pretty generous. So, uh, grabbing a berry juice and, yeah, we already have two. But grabbing a berry juice, probably should have grabbed a fresh water. Um, oops. <laughs> Alright. Give this to Sakura. Cory, this isn't the time to use that. I can't use, I can't use the Pokedex. I can't use this. It'd be kind of cool, though, if anything I do tracks in his. The lighthouse is up ahead. They built it when I was just a lad. Where did the time go? Oh, what an old, what an old stallion. Alright. Good luck out there, kid. And we're off. Oh my god. This music is so groovy. I would put this in my playlists. Like, this is amazing. Route 1. North, Daybreak Village. South, Sunset Bay. Alright. Cuttable tree. And our first battle against a wild Pidgey. That's crazy. Um... We did not get Pokeballs, right? Okay, we have one. Um, I don't... Abide by Nuzlocke rules. I could for this run. This run. Um... I don't think I will. Just kind of straight up. But... No. I, I, I was thinking, oh, I'll catch the Pidgey. I'm not catching that Pidgey. I really like its sprite, though, and, like, the, um... The shading and stuff. Again, if I'm just, like, loving on Gen 2 sprites, you know, feel free to stop me, but... If our health gets low and we can't KO it because of the accuracy, I'll just catch it, but I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, this won't get us to level 7. Yeah, but it, you know, we're leveling up. <clears throat> okay. 1 XP, that is a full bar. Oh my goodness. Getting relentlessly tormented. Alright. Something else. A Rattata. Pidgey and Rattata on Route 1. I'm not, I'm genuinely not mocking it. Like, I mean, it's Pokemon, you know what I mean? Um. Let's get it. There's a Zubat in the first cave. I mean, th this is a love letter to Gen 2, you know what I mean? Like, I... I appreciate it. And Vine Whip at level 7. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I do believe that the... As I was saying, I do- <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying, Jesus. Okay. This is a love letter to Gen 2, how can you be mad? Um, here's a Lediba. I'm kinda tempted. I'm a little tempted. If this doesn't kill it, or faint it. Yeah, oh yeah, it's not very effective. Oh yeah. Um, when does the Ornberry activate it? I thought it- oh yeah, we're not at half health yet. This is gonna make it activate. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So you can even see it with 1 HP. Yeah, Warren Berry's, um, it's half HP. One more Vine Whip. And we're within a very good, comfortable catching range. Alrighty. This battle theme is really good. It's reminding me of something, but I don't know what. And Ladybug was caught. Dado is newly added to the Pokedex. The five-star Pokemon. It is timid and clusters to- oh, f Can I go back? No! I didn't read either of it. I'll, I'll go back, I'll go back, but... First, Ladybug's nickname- Alright. Let's, uh, if it's the five-star Pokemon, let's just call it... Um... Ah, I'm 
someone. Let's call it Michi. That way, it's the Michelin Pokemon. Or the Mich Michelin. Michelin. There you go. Right, right. I learned how to pronounce today. Alright. Potions are cheaper. I feel so bad using it on that though. Okay, and we are I'm curious. No, I don't think I don't think EXP share is like a native turned on thing for this. Um, I am gonna defeat this lady. I could have caught a level four one. Why am I using Vine Whip? I'm just I just assume because of the same type of attack bonus. I'm like, oh, this is something. Just tackle, tackle, um, you know, just a little trading some blows, battles looking to come out a certain way. Tackle was, was that 45 base damage? I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. Soccer grew to level 8. Alright, um, still have a, yeah, special attacks pulled away a little bit, and obviously our speed's a little lower, but it's not, you know, like stat. Stat extremities become more important as you level up. And we got a Petra Berry from the tree. And we got it in the berry pocket. Alright. That's probably going to be a battle. And yeah, as you obviously saw, um, no EXP share. You probably already know this, but if you go into the tall grass, well, Pokemon might attack you. Yeah, you already knew that. <laughs> that's, a, that's cute. Don't know why I even walked into that path. I had no reason to. What? A wild pick a pack appeared. If I knew I could have got a pick a pack. Okay, yeah, it is just 40 damage. Dude, oh my god. Oh no. I'm so mad. That's okay. That's okay. Oh god, am I even gonna defeat this? I think two tackles, yeah. Yeah, yep. Oh, yep! Great. Now, I genuinely- I have not used a ladybug before, so I have no idea when it levels up. But, that's cool. And we've made it to Daybreak Village. Um, I think this is a good stopping point. So, as you know, today we began this adventure, got a Pokémon, Sakura and a friend, Michi, um, and began our journey in the Anwa region to become a Pokemon Master in Pokemon Coral version, the 2022 demo. I'm just going recursively back from the start. Um, Y'all take care. I'll see you next time when we explore Daybreak Village a little bit more and continue on our journey.